Lately, I don't feel like being very nice. Everybody just yells and screams at each other. Nobody's civil anymore. Oh, what fun. Not long ago, I made a video that made most of you laugh, as was the intent. Everyone found so many similarities in their childhood as we laughed at ourselves, even if some of the comments were confusing. Unfortunately, there is a group that spans the gap of time. And even though they're more common in some generations than others, they know no generational bounds. Encountered in every century, across every national border, void of any sense of humor, they lurk and wait, ready to strike at anyone who says anything. And now with the internet, they're able to try to suck the joy out of anybody who dare be happy. Known by many names, I call them Dobby. Devoid of higher brain functioning individuals. These Dobby invaded the comments, thinking they could poison your fond memories of doing dangerous things as a child, trying to belittle the thousands of times you cheated death before the age of five. But they failed, only showing how weak and fragile they really are. I am untethered and my rage knows no bounds! Okay, so there weren't actually that many. But it doesn't mean we can't have some fun. Even though I said it clearly last time, I'll say it again. This supposed war between generations is just back and forth banter. For those who haven't received the proper education, this is the definition of banter. I I'm making it clear that I'm joking, so that when the Dobie do come, feel free to use them as comment cannon fodder. But seriously, thanks for all the comments, it was fun. Some of them I wasn't sure about, though. Like a surgeon cutting for the very first time. Oh, wait. No, the accent was a subtle nod to the dad bod veteran. If you don't know who that is, he's worth looking up. Let's have some fun with some of these. No such thing. There's only 10X. Y'all the little effers that followed us around all the time. Why so serious? And I'm not sure what you mean. I was referring to those of us who lived far from neighborhoods and had no one to follow around. Generation whatever. Just labels given by those that feel they need to label anyone and everything. So you don't believe that there are different types of people, places, things, or ideas? Are you living in some state of nirvana? I challenge any generation younger than me to achieve what I have achieved physically, financially, mechanically, and intellectually on my own. Sounds like you believe you're somehow superior to everybody else. So it's fair to say that I'm from a generation of individualists. Sounds like you just labeled yourself. That independently thinks and cares nothing of what's trending or viral. Nor do I care what anyone says or labels me as. Careful with those finger emojis. There are younger generations who can't tell the difference between a thumbs up and a middle finger, apparently. Apparently there's something that they want all of us old folks to stop using, and that is the thumbs up emoji. Yo, you guys keep sending out these thumbs up emojis, and they look more like this to the Gen Z and millennials. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't bother responding to such rude comments, but I was feeling sarcastic that day. I was surprised to get a response. Ricky Gervais and Dave Chappelle have excellent comedy and humor. What you propose as humor doesn't even rate as a gritted teeth grin. I don't know of who you speak, but I will look them up. There was no further response and I was declared the winner. Then there are those who haven't listened or even watched, but felt the need to vent their emotions for no apparent reason. Yep, there's a small section of 43 to 59 year old Gen Xers he just said that pretty much all of Gen X is a small section of Gen X. Which stands no chance against Gen Z, which has far more people. Yes, yes, Gen Z has more people. Probably because the weakest and least intelligent of us were weeded out early and didn't survive childhood. Y'all gonna have to just find out. We found out before puberty. There's nothing left for us to find out. How much prime you all got left? Well, it's true, I'm not as good as I once was. Well, I'm taller. Imagine 60 year olds. 60? But I thought you said 43 to 59. And your thinking skills, top notch. 
How dare you? I do apologize. I forgot that you think this means this. Trying to beat down people in their 20s. Ha ha. Are you actually suggesting physical violence? Do you want to know why I use a knife? Keep trying to scare us, bud. No one is actually trying to scare you. But if we ourselves are scared of what we're capable of, when has Gen X not been picking a fight with Gen Z or anyone else? Evidently, not only are Gen Z's eyes going bad, they need hearing aids as well. Y'all act like when somebody tells you to stop hitting them or they will hit you back, they become the bad guy. Again, going straight to the physical violence. Diane ain't much of a living boy. You are the bad guy. I'm the bad guy? <laughs> How'd that happen? And a coward if you think you have to scare the next generation to keep them in line. I cannot fathom how a joke is meant to scare you. I think I need to explain something here. Every generation has been picked on by the generations that came before. There is no malicious intent in this. It is a method in which you are taught to grow a thick skin. In the past you had to acquire this trait before you could be considered an emotionally stable and mature individual. Oh, please stop taking offense at everything and everyone. <laughs>